be your mom. Mm. So go away. Come on, Amber. Be home. Becky! You think you know why Thorne has been pulling away from me? I have some ideas about it, yes. Did you talk to him? Not to Thorne, no, darling. I talked to Eric Forrester. Well, I'm sure Eric has his theory along with everybody else. Honey, I'm afraid it's more than just a theory. I think it's something that Eric has known about for months. Known about what? The Thorn has gotten himself romantically involved with Brooke. Oh, Macy, I'm sorry. I didn't want to be the one to tell you. I'm so sorry, darling. It's kind of ironic, huh? Ridge and Taylor come over here to try and cause problems for us, and they're the ones who are falling apart. Hmm. Would you at least try to keep it together? Oh, huh. that is rich. You think maybe you were keeping it together when you ditched me at our engagement party to stop her wedding? Or maybe you were keeping it together when you caused that big scene at Cafe Roost. Is that what this is? Payback time? Oh, payback. I can't believe you pushed me like this. You have no idea how this feels, do you? Hey, you're staring again. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I never imagined Taylor acting this way. How would you like it if your husband dragged you halfway around the world to check up on a former flame? You know, I could handle it when it was just me, when I was the one being pushed aside for Brooke, but now my children? What? Brooke's welfare is all you care about. She's your priority, not him. Taylor, that's so much bull. I have sacrificed a thousand things for those kids. Sacrificed? Is that what I am? Was I one of those sacrifices? Was our marriage?
darling, don't blame yourself. How could you have seen it? Thorne lied about it. He didn't lie. He just let me assume. It was Brooke the whole time. She won. You know, Stephanie warned me not to underestimate her. Be careful not to try and blame this whole thing on Brooke. I know, I know, Mother. I know Thorne makes his own choices. But he won't be the first one to give in to her seductions. And he won't be the last. She will use him and toss him away just like she does with any other man whose name isn't Ridge Forrester. Well, Macy, darling, after the way he's betrayed you, I must admit I'm rather looking forward to seeing him get his comeuppance. Aren't you? I love him. Whether I should or not, I don't want to see him get hurt. And I know that's what's going to happen. I just, I hate to think what he's going to go through. Well, darling, it's like you said, Thorne makes his own choices. He's going to have to pay for this one. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. I don't know about that, Mother. Maybe there is something I can do about it. Say what? I don't know. But look at him. All right. Ridge is a big boy. He can take care of himself, okay? Tonight is about us. I'm great, Thorne. Look, I don't mean to pry, but... What do you want? Tell me, what do you want? If you need someone to talk to, I'm here, okay? You? I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. Well, you have no one to blame but yourself for that, Rich. You forced my hand, little brother. You're responsible for this. You. said that? That you're responsible? Well, I brought you here. He followed you here. So this fight with Taylor, well, that's obviously my fault. Oh, my God. 
God, that's crazy. Yeah, well, he's a little out of his head right now. <sighs> that's a shame. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll work it out. I'm sure they will, but they're here in Venice. They should be enjoying themselves. <laughs> Come on, Taylor, you know that's not what I meant. No, no, oh, no. no. I heard what you said. I'm a sacrifice. I am tired of being a second place. <laughs> listen, why don't you come with me to meet Guido? And listen to you two talk lace? I don't think so. I'm gonna stay here and relax. I don't think I'm gonna get much sleep tonight. <laughs> because of them, no doubt. No. Because of you. Mm. Silly. <laughs> mm. Hurry back. Mm. Okay. I will. Be back. Mm. I guess I be. Okay. Don't blink. <laughs> Get out of here. all you have been through, darling. Why do you care? Hasn't he hurt you enough? You know, I actually feel worse for him than I do for myself. He's alienated his entire family. He's alienated everyone who's ever really loved him. And she's still going to break his heart. Well, maybe you'll feel a little less sympathy for him if I tell you that at this very moment, he is in Venice with Brooke. They're in Venice? Does Stephanie know that? No, of course not. And Eric is absolutely determined that she doesn't find out. He's concerned about her health. <sighs> of course. Of course. That's why he's had to keep this a secret. Well, he can't go on keeping it a secret. The truth is bound to come out eventually. And then what? I've got to talk to him. Darling, you can't. Don't you realize it's over between the two of you? And even if you did try to call him, he probably I'm wouldn't even take the call. I'm not going to call him, Mother. I'm going over there. Going over there? Going over where? To Venice? You can't do Mother, that. I have to. I know it's over. I know it's over between us. But I cannot sit back and watch her ruin his life. I don't understand. Why you can't just put all of this behind you? Why, darling? Because I love him. I love him too much. Maybe Thorne's right. Mitch and Taylor are probably making up right now. For sheer romance, nothing beats a gondola ride down the Grand Canal with the one you love. I can't wait. I just wish your mom would get here so we can go. You think that was her at the door? I don't know.
just made a big, big mistake. in here? Who? Taylor? No, she's not in here. What's going on? You probably heard the whole thing, didn't you? I mean, what the hell does she want from me anyway? <sighs> Rich, she loves you. Yeah, well, I love her too. I know you do. We're married, we have three kids. you think that'd be enough, wouldn't you? you think that would show her? That... Show her what? She's great. She's great. She's everything a man could want. But she's got this, this timer that goes off, and if I step one little step out of line, she throws it all back in my face. Throws what back in your face? Oh, come on, Logan. Don't play dumb. You and me, our history. That's what you two have been arguing about? Come here to stop whatever this is with you and Thorne, and she thinks that's a betrayal. So you did come here to break up Thorn and me. Oh, come on, you know I did. I just can't believe that you actually thought it would work. Yeah, well, I thought it was worth a try anyway. What you thought wrong. In fact, I have something to tell you. Your brother officially proposed to me. And I accepted. So you shouldn't have come here, Ridge. You certainly shouldn't have brought Taylor. So why don't you go find her and explain, and I'm sure everything will be just fine. No, everything is not going to be fine. <sighs> Rich, come on. Brooke, have you been listening to me at all? Yes, why don't you just go talk this through with her? Because talking is not going to matter anymore. It's not going to change how I feel, Brooke. And it's not going to change what she's willing to accept. What are you saying? She wants out. She's leaving me. <laughs> 